if you clicked on this video, you want to learn how to do the same thing. And I've always called it the hand whistle. My dad taught me when I was a kid. I've taught my oldest son. And now I'm going to teach you in about two to three minutes. Let's get started. To get started, simply take your fingers, bunch them up, and pretend that you're holding like a ping pong ball or a lime or something right here in your hand. You don't want your fingers crunched and you don't want it too wide. Try to make it as close to a uh, spherical as you can. You'll see in the back, your left hand will simply lay across the back like this. Your right hand fingers will be bunched up and your thumbs will come together to form a bit of an opening and this is where the air goes. So it looks something like this. Do you have your hands like this? Great. The next thing you need to do is make sure air can't get in or out except for the opening between your thumbs. If you do have an extra opening, it's gonna make it sound very airy and just the whistle sound won't come out, okay? So, once we have our hands positioned correctly, we wanna put our lip, our bottom lip, right around where our thumb's knuckle is, okay? And don't be afraid to really let your bottom lip hang over the knuckle. You need to make sure that the lips are kind of securing the space around the knuckles so air only goes in in that little tiny opening right here, okay? And it's gonna take you some time to mess around with it and make sure the air is focused. But one thing you might find um, is that the tilt of your hand is either too far away or too close, for example. Now my hand is in the right position. Now watch what happens when I tilt it down just a tad the sound comes out. Now let me tilt it even farther. You, as you can see, there's a point where this won't work and this won't work. You almost want this bone between your knuckles on your thumb to be perpendicular with the ground. When it's about perpendicular with the ground, the sound's gonna come out. Is it working for you? Let's try again from the beginning. Two hands. Pretend like there is a golf ball or lime in the middle. Make sure the air can only come in through the little tiny gap between the thumbs and then really hang that lip, bottom lip, over the knuckles. Once it's there, you wanna focus the air through that hole and make sure the tilt isn't too far away or too close. If you've done that, the air should come out. Is it working for you? If not, don't panic, just keep trying things. Keep adjusting your hand, moving the tilt, and making sure the air is focused through that little hole and it's not coming out anywhere else. If you're getting the sound, one more thing I wanna tell you. That's not the only sound that you can make when you're doing the hand whistle. Um, if you make your hand even tighter, so it's like you're holding a smaller ball in your hand, like a grape or something, you're gonna get a higher pitch noise. Watch this. Can you hear that? It's because I've changed um, from having this large bowl for the air to go in. And if I could continue to make it tighter and tighter, the noise would go, or the pitch would go up higher and higher. The other thing you can do, if you can roll your tongue, is to get this sort of a sound. Now, if you can't roll your, your tongue like that, I don't know what to tell you, but if you can, that's a sweet sound. You can also move your finger to change the notes while you're getting the sound, like this. Experiment it, see which finger works best for you, but at the end, you should have something like this. Let's start from the beginning. Two hands, pretend like you're holding a ball. Make sure the tilt is right, and then you can roll your tongue and you can move your finger for that extra note. If you were able to figure this out because of this video, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, we have other um, videos you might wanna check out with spicy food and scaring each other and trying drinks, lots of fun things. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you for the next video. See ya.